What up, it's your girl, Melissa Denise. I've really wanted curly clip-ins for the longest time, and I finally got my hands on some by Her Given Hair, and I wanted to share my thoughts with you and show you guys a few looks. So I did a quick wash and go, and I'm just going to section off my hair and see how these bad boys blend with mine. So I'm just going to undo the clips in the back and slide the combs in and clip them into place. I pretty much did wash and go on the clip-ins as well. For me, I found it to be easier that way. Then I added a little bit of water to blend it in better. This is how they look when they first come out of the pack. They come in a dark brown, but I dyed mine black to match my hair. Then I just wet them and add a little bit of gel and used my Demon brush to make the curls look more like my natural hair. Just like your hair, you're going to have to play around with them, manipulate them, add your gel, add your water until it looks more like your texture. I let them dry fully before I added them, but honestly, to each his own. I've heard some people say it's easier to deal with them when they're soaking wet. My hair personally takes forever to dry, so I just didn't want to deal with soaking wet hair or have to bust out the blow dryer, but yeah, whatever works for you, but definitely, you know, try them both out. I ended up getting two bundles of the 22 inch curly texture, but they also carry other textures as well. So I'll leave all the information in the description box so you guys can check them out. Make sure that you thoroughly wash them before you use them. That is definitely a must. Now I'm going to shape it up a bit. I couldn't find my hair scissors, so I was a little nervous I was gonna cut off my own hair with these crap scissors. So I didn't shape up as much as I probably should have, but I think it turned out pretty good. Honestly, I'm obsessed. I wish my hair looked like this every day, but this is definitely my new hair goal to grow my curls this long and this big. We've got a new journey on our hands, people. This next look is a good lazy go-to or if you're having a bad hair day, I'm just going to pull all my hair up and out of the way, then grab a bandana or something fancy if you like. Make a little triangle and wrap it around the back of your head and pull the two ends forward and tie it tight. Now I'm just going to fold down the top a little bit. Take your hair down and fluff it out. I don't know. This look just always reminds me of summer, the beach, a snack. <laughs> By the way, even though I should not be eating these since I am on a diet, but if you have not had hot Cheetos, you are missing out on all of life. Ignore me being greedy. <laughs> In this final look, I'm going to create some fake bangs. I'm just taking one set of clip-ins and hiding the clips under my bun and snapping those bad boys into place. You can definitely just cut them at this point, but I didn't want to do so, so I just am going to twist them up and bobby pin them down. I'm going to take an additional layer just to make them a bit fuller and bobby pin that section and down as well. Now just going to trim them up to your liking and you are good to go. And that's it. All the info on my clip-ins and her given hair can be found in the description box. They're having a big second anniversary sale coming up in July so make sure you guys be on the lookout for that. Let me know what your hair journey is looking like right now. What are your new hair goals? I love to hear from you guys. Like always, I love you. I appreciate you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.